Uh, we saw about OWD, um, private, public, read only, public read write, and public data transfer. Okay. So, transfer the this is what we have discussed. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So yesterday, last class, we were discussing about the one scenario, if somebody raised a ticket by calling the call center, saying that my laptop is not working fine or some issue is there. So based on the area of area from that person is called or that person took the laptop. For example, the person has bought the laptop from Hyderabad service or Bangalore service. Related to that, they will push the case to there or it is also depending on from where the person is calling. If the person is calling from Hyderabad, so if there is any repair of laptop, okay, and that person is raised a case and near to that person, we can assign a case to that uh, specific queue, which is where the person is leaving it, so that the person will be easily communicate with related members. Right, what is the queue here? Queue is nothing but a location or a repository where all the pending records are, are waiting for the processing. Waiting for the processing. So what are the records are, which are waiting for processing those records? Whoever is available, for example, out of this, remember anybody is idle. If I see that right now, everybody is busy, but after five minutes, assume that the second person will get some time. As soon as this person is free, what this person will do, this person will go to the queue and he'll check any new cases. Uh, definitely he will receive an email. So he will go to the queue and he will accept the record and start working on the next record. So it is similar like, for example, um, I'm waiting for the train, okay? So if I wanted to travel to Vizag or someplace, Tirupati, I wanted to travel. So my train is delayed. It's supposed to come at right now, but it is getting delayed for two hours. If it is getting delayed for two hours, what I'll do, I'll go to the waiting room, I'll wait there, okay? So the waiting room, can anybody go to the waiting room? No. That is only for the VIP people who can wait there or whoever is having the, some ticket. So they can wait into that specific waiting room. All the members cannot go to the that waiting room. It's similar like once like anybody can go into that and who, whoever is having the access to that waiting room. And once the wait, once the train is available, then I can come back and start my journey. Then after, once I'm back, then I can, uh, the next person can go there. So here, Q is nothing but a location or a repository where all the pending records are waiting in the process. But what the Q contains, what is that contains? I know what is a Q, but what it contains? And does it support for all the objects or only few objects? What is this? So Q only supports for, what are the Q is there? This is only supports for lead, case, along with the standard objects of lead and case, all the custom objects. All the custom objects, we can implement a Q. But coming to the standard object, only the lead and case. Apart from the, this, we have a, some more standard objects, which is like a knowledge article, feedback, metrics, we can implement for those also. We can implement the queue. That means queue is supporting for lead, case, feedback, metrics, knowledge article, and all other custom objects. Now, so yesterday we were discussing about it. So whoever is there in this queue, we call them as a queue member. But how the queue member will know whether the case is 
So the, there is a one case is pending in the queue. How the queue member will know? How the queue member will know whether the case is pending in the queue or not? By email alert. Like. Yeah, email alert. So as soon as the assigned to the queue, there is a one email goes to the everybody saying that there is a new record that assigned to the queue and waiting in the queue. So queue is nothing but a location where all the pending records are awaiting, awaiting for the processing by the executive. Now, Q contains and which all are object it, suppo uh, it supports, Q supports to Lead case feedback. There is a feedback request. These all are standard objects. Feedback template. Feedback questions. Performance cycle. Goal, metrics, knowledge article. Knowledge article. And then orders, order and authorization. and all custom objects, right? So basically it represents what object record can be hold inside the queue. inside the queue. Now second one is queue members. Queue members. What is a queue member? Basically it represents the queue group of people. group of people who can access the queue records. Now, as soon as the record has been placed, inside the queue, all the queue members will get an email will receive an email alert, okay? So who will be picking up that queue? The record will get awaited inside the queue till any of the queue member is accepted or else it has been transferred to any other member. So once the queue member accepts the record, as soon as the queue member accepts the record, the record ownership will get transferred to the that specific queue member. Whoever is accepted, it will change the owner to that specific member. 
and how many uh, queues can we configure? We can configure one or more queues inside the organization. One or more queue inside the organization. All the queues information will be resides in the group object. If you go to the group object, you will see all the queue information. So let's go here. Let's go to the Salesforce. Let's search for the queue. See there's a queue. Now queue is nothing but queues allows the group of user to manage a shared workload effectively. Group of user to manage the a shared workload more effective. A queue is a location where records can be routed to awaited processing by the group member. And the records remain in the queue until a user accepts them for processing or they are transferring, transferred to another queue. It is possible that they can transfer to another queue. You can specify the set of objects that are supported by each queue as well as the set of users that are allowed to retrieve the records from the queue. Now let's go ahead and create a one new queue. The requirement is let's suppose configure a queue Hyderabad sales group. Or sales queue. By adding the lead object. By adding the lead object as supporting object. And supporting object and development user as the queue member. Okay, let's go ahead and create it, same thing. So here we wanted to create a Hyderabad. Sales queue. Now here we have a name and the email. Email is nothing but as soon as the record is placed into this queue, we wanted to give a default queue member. Here it is a default queue member. You can place anybody like a manager email. Manager email we can give or anybody's email. Just along with those persons, I want to also receive the email because I wanted to monitor that. Okay, so I wanted to receive the email along with the other person. So let's say that uh, I have another email. So that email is yopmail. Let's go to the, this one. Okay. So this is my email. Let's give that email. Now available member or available object here, sorry, available object. Which object do we wanted to mention as per the requirement? Lead object. So see here, along with the lead object, I have knowledge article version, right? And all other objects are available here service appointment, work type, work type plan, work order store, voice, 
voice call service appointment location lead incident image hiring manager all the custom objects finance balance finance transaction i think they have removed the feedback communication subscription change request contact points consent contact request so these are the different all the objects that we can do it shift service secretary service resource service contract service appointment seller scoreboard scorecard return order quick text process exception problem party consists these are the standard objects order these are the standard objects okay hiring manager is the custom object and another custom object is only hiring manager is there that's fine now here in this case we are planning to do it for the lead object so let's select the lead object and then next queue member who should be the queue member queue member is development user let's say queue member is development user So now the queue has been created. Now the queue has been created. Now one thing observe here, I have created the queue, right? I have created the queue, which is called as a Hyderabad sales queue. Now let's go to the, now let's go to the, um, our org and go to the lead object. Inside the lead object, you will see the same queue, Hyderabad sales queue. Hyderabad, this is the list view. That means as soon as I create a queue, then automatically the list view will be created with the same name. With the same name, the list view will be created. Hyderabad sales queue. Hyderabad sales queue. Now same queue has been created here as a list view. This is by default Salesforce is doing it. This is by default Salesforce is doing it. Now I can, I do not see any records here, right? So what I'll do is I'll go to the other leads, all open leads. Now, let me change right now the owner. And something different. Okay. So, let's change here the queue. My queue is Hyderabad sales queue. I'm changing the owner. So instead of creating the new one, what I'm doing is existing one, I'm changing the owner, owner to the queue. As soon as I change the owner to the queue, this is the one thing which came into the queue. Now I'll log in as a user. I'll log in as a users. Who is that user? Development user. Now the development user should be able to see the record i have not assigned the record to him i have not assigned the record to him what i did i just changed the owner to the queue i have changed the owner to the queue now let's go to the lead now this person also should be seeing the that list view queue Hyderabad sales queue. Now this person will see this. Now what this person will do 
if this person is idle okay he will go to that queue he will check okay this is the case now what he will do is he will accept the record so there should be a button here accepting it right now it is not here so what i can do is i can change the user now i can change it to the development user but ideally in the real time we'll have a accept button accept button will be there now whenever we created the queue we did not mention that email to send we mentioned the queue email but here send email to the members if this is checked then only it will send an email right now it did not even send single email so we have assigned it did not send an email to me now i have checked it now let's click on save now well, let's go back to the another open lead details now i'll change this owner to queue now i'm changing the owner so this person should be receiving an email or whoever the user email is there okay, this is also the profile so it might be getting delay but ideally it should be received an email now while transferring the record there are two types we can do it now right now what we have done we have created the queue we did it in the manual transfer we just as soon as the record is created we transferred that so first one is manual transfer transferring is two types first one is manual transfer and second one is automation so manual transfer what we will do in this approach we can transfer transfer the record to the queue manually by changing the record owner by changing the record owner record owner field to the queue Right, by changing the record owner field to the queue now what are the steps that we have done right now in order to change we open the lead go to the detail page then we clicked on the change owner field and then we are selected the owner type as a queue owner type as queue then we have selected the queue name from the lookup icon or entered the queue name from the lookup in our case it is a hyderabad sales queue and whenever we are changing that okay so here we have a another thing send notification email okay for example if i have another lead let me open this this is already in the queue 
detail section. Let's change it. So Q is Hyderabad sales group, sales queue and send a notification, change the owner. Then automatically it will send an email to the queue. So we have to select the checkbox. Send email to members. Then click on a save button. That's it. Now what is the observation we have done? It transferred the record to the queue. It is immediately. Just a second. Okay, so the observation is it will transfer the record to the queue. So immediately without any wait. And the queue member will get email alert saying that there is a one uh, record which is sitting in the queue. So this is the one email which we received it. So in my case, the problem is the developer user will have a same email and the queue member is also same email so it is receiving only one email there but in ideally user will be getting the in real time user will be getting as soon as it is assigned to the queue it is similar like assigning the uh, sharing the record to the public group in the sharing what we are doing it we are just sharing to the public group but here what we are doing we are transferring the record to the queue because I want somebody else to take the ownership. So we are transferring the record to the queue. So that is only the difference between the public queue, public group and queue. Public group is I'm sharing the record, but owner is I am the owner. When it comes to the queue, I'm transferring the record to somebody else so that the other person will take the ownership of that record. Fine. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, for today, that's it. Uh, let me stop recording.